One of the new functions of Enroute 5 is the block nesting function. And to get to block nesting, we're just going to select the objects that we want to nest. And this is really only going to be useful for rectangular shapes. It won't really account for any uh, profiles that are on the opposite side of a part. So this is something you only want to use with rectangular shapes. And we're going to go to the nesting function. And right here on the left hand side, you have two different little icons here. One is for true shape nesting and the other is for block nesting. And so with our three objects selected, we'll see that all three are highlighted. And now I can come in here and I can specify a quantity. Let's say I just want to do four of each of these different size rectangles. And I'm going to specify possibly a gap here. Um, this would allow for a toolpath to be put around the outside of the part. And in the case of block nesting, we can specify that a common line will be created, which would allow us to cut the parts out once they've been created without having to go around the perimeter of each part. So uh, here we have common line creation. Uh, and uh, multiple sheets will allow us to create more than, than one layer and, and put extra parts on our additional layer. So let's first of all make sure here that we only have uh, we only have one layer on screen. Now I'm going to select my parts and I'm going to go to the nesting tab. I'm going to choose block nesting. Again, let's use just uh, a quantity of four here. We have a gap of 0.25 inches and we're going to use create common line. Uh, we're also going to check allow rotate. This will give us the most efficient uh, nest that we can get. So now we'll come here and we'll see that our nested layer one includes both the geometries that we wanted to cut as well as a common line. And if I select this, it will show up as a pink selected object. And now I could use an engraved toolpath or open contour offset to apply a, a particular tool to cut in between these objects. So by using this uh, function, you'd be able to turn your, your CNC cutting device into a, a saw of sorts to cut out parts with a single pass. Oh, this is the part of the new block nesting function and we also have here a nesting report that would uh, give us a little bit of information about each of these parts uh, part one part two and part three and uh, tells us a little bit about about where the parts are on each of the on each sheet so here we have four of this this particular one so we have some yield information as well now uh, this is new block nesting which is part of en route five